Hello and welcome back to Warmer 40k Chaos Gate, where in the last episode we destroyed a chaos portal in a chaos cathedral and um, killed, a, killed a whole lot of them. This time I think we're gonna do some random missions instead, so I'm not gonna even read the, the mission briefing text because I think it makes more sense when I to, to read that when we actually go on the mission so we don't forget about it. So let's just ignore that. Let's go to Machine World Swamp Forest. Uh, let's go to the Swamp Forest, I guess. So now I have to make a hard decision, actually, because really, why do I want to bring the Terminator Squad? Well, I mean, they're very effective, but they're not getting better. <coughs> So it might actually be useful to bring Tech Squad 2 along instead. They're not the greatest, sure, but um, they might just get something going. I might actually want to switch someone in there who actually knows how to hold a gun, you know? Like Tantitos, for instance, could, I, could actually be a good, good guy. Uh, any one of you wanted to be switched out? Tyrius is pretty amazing, but he's a pretty amazing gunner foremost, so maybe I'll actually switch him out for Zatunius. He's not quite the same on the same level as, as Asmodeus, but he also has more AP and better melee combat than Zatunius does, does, so I'm pretty I'm pretty certain I'll be switching those out. Alright, he'll be he'll be leaving this. Good, anyway, um, let's, let's keep it as is. Uh, do I want to switch one guy over? Who has the highest leadership? You do. Um, Tatsitos, you can actually lead Tech Squad 2. And let's actually take Tech Squad 2 along instead of the Terminators. I know I would be more powerful with, with, with the Terminators, but this way these guys can get some experience. Let's hope we don't run into enemy Terminators because then we would have problems. Let's call it that. So we'll, we'll see how well that goes. In any event, let's assign our melee weapons. Uh, last time we found a Reaper Power Axe, which gives us, gives us additional AP. So I'm actually gonna give that one to... to Gratos so he can get some, some more stuff done, get some experience and all that. So he can have that. I think we should have enough axes and fists now to, yes, to just basically just hand them out to the rest of the guys. Goody, goody, goody. So who's best? You're gonna get the axe. The rest of you can have the power fists. And one will need to have an axe, but only one. Alright. We'll also be taking flamers. So, who's the best shot? Well, it doesn't matter that much, does it? Uh, let's actually give it to... Well, actually, you have the highest amount of AP, so probably shooting would actually be something you can do, so... You take that. You take that, no. You take... Take the plasma pistol. The rest of you guys can get the flamers. So that. All right. Okay. It's the first squad ready, I guess. Next one. Mm, best shots would be you two. Following that, you're also kind of okay. Maybe you need to get some experience, so I'll actually let you keep that. Aside from that, do I want to bring the rocket launcher? Yeah, actually, Kass is sort of decent with the rocket launcher because he has enough AP to fire twice with it. That's sort of his main... 
main reason for why I want him to have the missile launcher. If something needs to be killed with a missile launcher, then he he can get that done. We also found our first Meltdown missiles. They're actually pretty decent, to be honest. Um, basically, they have a small AOE effect and do similar damage to the to the crack missile. They have, don't don't have quite the same um, damage potential, but similar armor penetration. So they don't really lose out much, but do have an AOE component. So they could actually be interesting at some point. At some point, it might actually be interesting to basically bring more types of grenades along but really most of the others aren't worth it. Frag grenades are totally worthless. Plasma missiles aren't worth it at all. I think they have a small area of effect, but not, but not too much, so they're not very impressive either. Anti-plant are, are not impressive at all. Plint missiles might be useful at some point, but anyway, um, the Melton missiles are actually interesting, but I don't think I'll need to bring it right here, but just saying that in, f in the future, in the future, it might actually be be a thing to do. I also have other interesting things that I haven't used so far. Maybe I can start using them more often, like the melter bomb, for instance, which is actually an interesting thing because you can basically lay that down somewhere and then hopefully run away from it before it blows, and can actually be kind of fun. So the best shot of you guys is Novarius. So let's give him the. Mastercrafted. So we're gonna need all of that. That's actually you had the axe, right? Let's actually give him one of these um meta bombs. Maybe we'll actually kind of want to try and use it. Could be fun. To just plant it somewhere in a group of enemies and then jump out again. If you have enough AP, then it's actually kind of kind of possible. And he does have a lot with his uh, Reaper Power Axe. So let's get some work done with this. So, your attack squad, yes. None of you is overly impressive. Are you actually mighty hero Tacitus? Yes, his stats are really. Poor, though. So let's maybe not give you that. Let's actually give a gun to Arcadius so we can get some experience. He's a mighty hero, but he doesn't doesn't have either of those skills above 100, which is sort of terrible. We had a good, we also found new weapons last time for uh, the tech squad, like the Malta gun. Um, basically, you can freeze stuff with this, I think. Uh, however, we don't have any Melta gun cells, we only have the gun right now. So that would be an issue. Um, doesn't have the greatest weapon range, but it can be pretty effective against armored targets. Uh, we also found the Serpent's Breath Flamer, which is just a proof version of the Flamer. Aside from that, there's really nothing. We're getting the heavy bolt. No, not, not you. Uh, Arcadius, I said. Cardius wanted to get the heavy bolter. All right. Let's try to do this without terminators. We can get some people trained and get better options for Termi Squad because. That distribution can be very uneven. Can we also bring our tech guy up? Oh, no, we still can't bring our tech guy on. It's a shame. Really? I'd like to. Anyway, can't. So, I think we're ready. Let's see. So apparently there's enemies and we only see cultists so far. Yeah, we really don't need Terminators to deal with cultists after all, right? So... Question is what, what are we gonna do? Let's take a look at the map. There's crates here and there's a whole area around there. If I were the opponent, I would assume that they sort of start around the structure here and probably have a lot of people there. So let's let's assume that for now, until we know more. There's an interesting 
Well, there's an in interesting hill here that we could hide behind with our assault guys and basically it should enable us to... Well, there's actually a cellar. Interesting. It's an interesting design. There's a hill and there's a cellar that leads down, actually. Kinda cool, to be honest. Kinda cool. Actually, let's pick the one guy with the bomb. Maybe he can get something done and scout. He has the most AP after all, so... And they shouldn't be in Overwatch because it's turn one, so... Let's try and jump here for funsies. Is that? is that a blood letter? I think it is. I haven't run into those. They're basically guys running around with swords. Uh, they're behind that even. Okay. Interesting. Let's try that melter bomb plan. Standing, I'm not standing in the correct position. I think he would be better. Let's set that off at the end of this turn. Yes, can also set that off a couple of turns later if you if you think you're you can get away with it. But I'd rather like to set it down here. All right, get out of there. You can get in there actually. Should be safe there. Aside from there, well, the hill might be an option. I actually like that structure. Well, it's not full cover and they can get in there from all sides, so maybe it's not the best one. Alright. Uh, over there we would actually be pretty safe, though we had to make, do we would have to make two jumps, which I sort of don't like. Uh, well, I can go over there. There's also a corny or sorcerer down there. So probably we'll jump over here somewhere. And here they still have a view on you, so just jump in there to be safe. Or behind this. A lot of jumps. But we know more about our position now. Good. Anyway, let's also bring the rest of our guys over there so we can prepare stuff and all. Might actually be safe enough for us to just be here. They probably can't walk and shoot at us while we're, while we're up there on this hill. I'm just not entirely certain if there isn't anything coming out of the cellar at some point, so I rather don't don't want to risk that. So let's actually just jump over there somewhere. Can you see anything from here? I actually see that, so you can get a combat experience by sh shooting that guy. You actually really don't need it, but... Alright. So do you actually want to move here, roast one, and then jump up there? It should be fine with the distance. So let's try that. To get the most buck out of our turn. Alright. Roasted. Alright, can you reach one of these? Oh, wasting too many points, you really can't jump at all right now. Alright, move one step up. 
And you should be able to shoot that guy from here. Unless you land on the fire. Lariosity will ensure if he actually lands on the fire. He didn't. Good job. Very good job. Survive that? Fucking got this. Alright, you also just have the regular. Can you jump? Alright, you can roast that guy over there. So what do you see? Uh, not too much left to see. Most of them have been sort of well shut down, burned. I'm not sure how you see that, you don't really have a shot at it though, so it's really no point in you shooting. Is there anywhere where we can put up a decent line of defense? There's always trees, which bothers me a little bit because you can't really tell when you're safe and when you're not. So, I could go over there. The hill should sort of... should should sort of protect us as does this part of the wall. That would be an idea. Do you have anything else? Not really. So let's have a walkie over there. So you see something now? You see that one? And what's the other one? That one, yeah, that one is already burning. That one should also be burning, but uh, uh, I think I'll take it nonetheless. Good. So let's try to form a defensive line here. Hopefully that hill will work out for us. Right until the enemy storms up to the hill, but at that point we can also shoot back. So let's hope the hill will provide some cover. Da -da -da -da. So you see that one? And you also sort of have a shot at that guy, so let's try. I mean, do. Do or do not, there is no try. I know, I know. Alright. Slaughtered like two of them already. Like it. And the third. Good job. The extra range on the Mastercrafted Bolter really helps because he can engage targets at a distance where the regular troops won't be able to fire back with their own Bolters. And my own guys also can't really shoot. So, that's kind of neat. Actually, go down there. Do you have a good shot at something? Not really. Uh, I guess you can just kneel and go on Overwatch. La 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 la. la. Well, most of our guys will probably just move here this turn. In those random scenarios, it's actually also kind of a decent decent tactic to just stay where you are, form a defensive perimeter somewhere and let the enemy come to you, because they will eventually come to you. No, not necessarily right away, but at some point they'll probably come. So, do you have a decent shot at someone? Well, you actually sort of do. Or well, two guys at least. But I'll take it. And you have... And you have line of, line of fire on everyone, basically, so... Let's try to reduce the number a little. Alright, you can see that too. Dead. 
Shame. But he's beaten up. Mm. Next one. probably stop there somewhere along the way because he had shots at some point eh, oh well let's just kneel overwatch they'll probably come So what sort of shots do you have? Well, actually, it's kind of decent. I hold your death. The has been taken out. No, it was a sorcerer. I'm really, really, really sorry. You know what? I'm actually not sorry. Sorcerers seem to cheat sometimes. Since we sort of wiped their southern flank out, I guess it should be safe to be here, but we don't have the hill covering for us. Uh, let's actually not go there. Yeah, continue going. Run for it. He doesn't have the most AP, but he does have does have a pretty decent ballistic skill at least. All right, guys, what are you gonna do, uh, dude? What are you gonna do? You could try his new psycho power. I think I actually didn't use it the last mission, although he already had it. I think. I think he already had it, but I don't think he'll, he'll get in range somewhere along the way here. He's really far away from basically everyone, so let's just uh, walk to the group. Yes, continue. This auto stop that my units are doing is is uh, because of an because of a setting in the options, but that basically. Makes them pause shortly before they run out of AP to shoot with their with their ranged weapon once, which can actually be useful because sometimes you can just um, use that. Oops! I guess a bomb must have been there. No idea how it got there, but something exploded. <sighs> Could have just waited. Well, at least a few of them are apparently still alive and kicking. Wow. But, but it exploded, so... Well, apparently most of them survived it. No problem. Our swords can rush in there again. Apparently all of them survived that. Crazy. It doesn't really seem like all of us, all of these swords survived it, some, survived it somehow. Oh, this house is aimed. Alright, I'll take that. Their armor seems to be dented though. I mean, he's already pretty beat up. Oh, sh Yeah. Yeah, right. Mm, as is this guy. I mean, not, normally we, we wouldn't have a 66% chance to kill him with, with, a, with a regular bolter. So let's actually open up on him. Ah. Nope. That's decent. Well, it's actually really decent. I think he just ate, ate the rocket, right? So maybe you could take that guy out. 
with a shot. Come on. Ach. Freaking bolters. Freaking bolters. Oh, we still have is, is the assault squad in reserve, so whatever happens, uh, they'll they'll be able to do something. And we also have these guys. Oh, he has a pretty decent shot at everyone here. Good. Yes, you do. Let's try and shoot shoot down that guy first, because he has a heavy weapon. Uh, have him out of the picture, thank you. Thank you very much. Good man, good man. So, he has sight on something. On those guys. Actually pretty decent shot too. But they're really not injured much. They probably weren't in the radius of the bomb when they went off. So let's actually hold that fort for a second. You could snipe that one guy, that guy down. Yes, yes, snipe it down. Thank you. You don't see anything though. So let's walk here. No. Here yeah, maybe. No. No. Something seems to be in the way for him. Well, now I know I need to be worried about uh, his cover. Why doesn't he have a shot at all? Must be this tree in the way somehow. Oh well. Well, he won't be able to shoot this turn anyway, so let's get right behind this one. Now he has a side on things. How oh, great. <clears throat> so, you don't see anything? Oops. Could move a little bit further to the front though. What, now you see something? Now that you need help down. Interesting. That's, that's very interesting. Okay. Um, you see the blood ladder, right? Still out of range though. He'll form the last line here. Um, is there someone you need to want to give AP to? Uh, that well, that guy is too far away though. Uh, you actually have uh, have AP for that. Okay. So that appears to be out of range over there. However, the fire will remain. So if I were to cast it somewhere. The fire would actually remain, um, but I think I can just get close enough. I, I can get him close enough in to actually use Hellfire. So let's actually just save it. I think if he moves behind the ridge, he should still be safe if he kneels down, and he has enough AP to cast once. So let's give that a shot. Yeah, and apparently you really don't need line of sight in order to cast this. Because I doubt you can see it over, you can see you over the hill. One step more. And... Well, yeah, does, didn't actually get a better deal out of this. Here, maybe. Not sure if he'll still be in the, in the AoE, but let's just give that a shot. Well, actually doesn't, but... He did something, at least. Good, well we still have our trusty assault squad. Do we move in for the kill, or do we wait it out? I think wait it out and uh, is not the worst option, because I think we took out most of the special weapons guys. And there might be more that we haven't seen yet, so... Let's actually play this caf carefully. Might just be that these are the last ones and I'm just not going in for the kill here right now, but um, I guess you'll only know that afterward. So, since they're up the hill, you should be pretty safe along the wall here. A 
maybe we can we can do that thing with a melter bomb more often. Like swoop in in, in into to the enemy the first turn, plant a melter bomb there and leave. Maybe next time we we'll actually plant two. <laughs> Just don't give me any ideas. If there's crazy ideas to be abused, then I'll I'll probably go along with it. Here. All right, let's see what's happening. All right. Okay. Blood letter is also a demon, so um, unless we outright kill him, will not um, degrade his armor. I think I already mentioned that last episode. But demons, why well, sometimes they can be a pain to kill, because if you don't kill them, then they'll just move along like nothing happened. Uh, he has a pretty decent shot. Ah, damn it. Well, let's go for the 42 percent. Nope. Shame. Could you pull that guy? Okay, try again. Thank you. Mm, you see the letter, right? Is anyone close enough to throw grenades? You got a few shots in. I'm sorry about that, but we should be fine. Still. You also see the letter. Do we want to open on the letter or on the chaos guy who's standing, who's chilling out in the fire? Yeah. That's what chaos do, d does these days. Chilling out in the fire. Could you get that shot in so you get so you get combat experience? Okay, thank you. Want to use Hellfire again? I don't think these can burn, so let's actually use it on a more sensible target. Maybe you stand up for this. Apparently, it does need line of sight. We don't have line of sight on anything here, it seems. Well, we could roast that cultist. Or we can try if that blood letter can catch fire. Let's give that a shot. Actually, they can burn. Okay, good. And actually, you can also just kill him with a pole pistol. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. So. Then you can open up on these guys. Come on. No, almost, almost. Where's the other guy? Do you see the co Yes, you do. Die before me, Chaos Traitor. No, oh, it was actually that was actually it. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Gratos, would you be so nice to open up the rest of the loot boxes? I'd like to know what's inside there. So, see, we managed this mission and we didn't even bring our Terminators along. 
And some of our and some of our newer guys can de can definitely use the experience. And even some of our slightly better experienced guys can also use it. Fucking frag missiles. Heavy bolter ammo. This is off to a good start. Metal bombs, okay? Okay, I got I, I got got the message game. Metal bombs can be fun. I see it now. You're too close to something? Really? Really? Okay. Move over there, I guess. Still? No? No? What? Lightning claws, interesting. Do you think we have enough lightning claws though? Mm, rat grenades, those are actually also interesting at least. Not the greatest by any stretch of imagination, but they're interesting. Basically you can throw them and an, an, an entire area becomes radiated for a long while. So if anyone tries to move through there, they got they get damage in. You always need to be aware of where you place those, because if you place them somewhere where you need to eventually go through yourself, you might just um, shoot yourself in the knee or something. But sometimes you can just uh, screw chaos up with that a little. Shame. This box looked different, so I was expecting, oh, maybe there's some really awesome loot in there. But, nope. Mm, plasma gun cells. So we found a bunch of grenades and, well... Okay. Wanna get some free experience? Alright. Yes. So, anyone got a got a got a promotion? Huh? Well maybe? The assaults didn't really get much because they didn't participate too much in the battle. Anyway, they were there as backup. Apparently we didn't need the backup, but um, at least the other guys were, were able to get some experience. Navarro's only killed four, that's a shame. Well, he al already has the crooks anyway, so it doesn't matter. Could have used more experience, though. Alright, Bonius, Naros, he's actually one of the former, former, former uh, Terminators. He got Marksman Honor. Uh, nothing, nothing. Akadu's got a promotion. Yay! And decent ballistic skill. Very good, very good. He was already pretty okay this this uh, this scenario. Uh, now he's better. He didn't get anything done. What well, kind of fire the shot? Oh, okay, apparently you don't even need to hit in order to gain combat experience. Okay, I need to keep that in mind. You just need to randomly shoot at something. And then you can say, I will fit in combat. I shot. I shot something. Okay, let's just say. You, you killed the fucking bot letter, right? Holy shit, man. Alright, 